So, next item is power supplies. What matters about power supplies? Remember, power supplies are the box from which the wall juice comes and feeds into your computer? Well, that's exactly what they are. Now, what you're looking for in a, when specking out a power supply is wattage. What kind of wattage does it have? Does it have enough juice? Wattage is, of course, the uh, measurement for electrical power. And your computer is going to draw a certain amount of electrical power, but if your power supply can't handle it, your power supply will either heat up and explode if it's really crappily made, or it'll hit a thermal limit or some kind of current limit and shut off. So when you spec out a power supply, you're mostly looking for the wattage. 750 watts, 600 watts, these are decent ranges. 1,000 watts if you're thinking you're going to do like multiple graphics cards or something. So let's talk about the other thing about power supplies, and it's the only other thing about power supplies, whether they are modular or not. Remember how I said that there's usually cables and stuff coming out of your power supply? Well, that's true. There's a lot of stuff on your motherboard that needs to get power, and your power supply has to connect to pretty much all of it. Not just pretty much all of it, all of it, all of it. It has to give the juice to everything you're going to use. So modular means these cables here plug into your power supply. Your power supply will have little outlets in it and you plug the cables into the, out, some, into the outlets on the power supply and then you plug those uh, cables again into where they're going to go. Now modular means expensive basically. Most power supplies aren't going to come with outlets. They're just going to come with all the cables attached and coming out usually with a piece of little heat shrink tubing or something. If I get my marker right it'll have a piece of heat shrink tubing around all of these and then maybe one big heat shrink tubing around the rest of them. That's usually what you get with your power supply. So power supply has a little switch in the back where you tell it yes you are on, no you are not on, and then it has a plug where you put in the wall juice and then it has a bunch of other stuff where this routes to your motherboard, your graphics card, um, and your hard drives if you have external hard drives and stuff. That's it for power supplies. They are pretty straightforward. You just want to get one from a reputable brand like EVGA, Corsair, something like that. All right.